So in today's video, instead of doing my normal seasonal EDC update, I thought I'd give myself a bit of an EDC challenge just to try something out new. So this is my ideal best complete EDC under $200 from Amazon. I got this idea from Taylor Martin from Best Damn EDC. So huge thanks to him for the inspiration. Be sure to check out his channel if you haven't yet. So without any further ado, let's just dive straight into it. I want to start with the sling bag to carry everything in, and that is the Hershey. 17 bag. This thing is $32 and definitely nice quality for the price point. Um, I've been familiar with Herschel stuff for a long time. Definitely kind of that classic styling, almost like Jan Sport, but kind of a little more current and elevated in my opinion of the brand. Um, so I was really happy to get this and test and try it out. On the front, you have a fully waterproof zipper pouch, which is nice, but then otherwise you just have the main compartment with the absolutely no organization. So if you're a big fan of like overly organized sling bags, this one isn't for you. But if that's something that doesn't bother you, which a lot of times a smaller carry isn't gonna be a big deal for me either, especially considering the price point. This works as a fanny pack or you can wear it over your shoulder like a sling bag. That's what I typically do. But I definitely recommend this if you're in the market for a budget sling bag. This thing has been great and should last someone years and years if you don't mind the lack of organization. From there, my choice for the knife multi-tool category would be the Gerber Dime. I went back and forth for a few options for this and decided on this. Um, I've been a big fan and user of the Leatherman Squirt PS4 for quite some time and I've heard about the Gerber Dime but it was just so similar I hadn't really had the chance to try it or pick it up because I was pretty happy with my Squirt PS4. Um, this one though is $29 compared to the Leatherman Squirt at $40 so $11 less expensive and essentially the same sort of tool and stylings. Overall testing this has been very good and for $29 I think having these small multi-tools can be incredibly useful to have and will definitely last a lifetime if you take care of them properly. Some of the Gerber items I've used in the past have been a little hit or miss. I tried the Gerber Fastball recently and really wasn't happy with it, but the Gerber Dime, especially for 29 bucks, this thing has been great and I would definitely recommend it if you're in the market for a little multi-tool or a budget multi-tool option for a setup like this. I will say too really quickly, after we go over the main EDC, items here. I have a few alternatives and options and substitutions for this setup if you're interested in kind of building out this budget Amazon EDC. I know everyone's EDC is going to look a little bit different and I want to make sure and cover as many bases as possible because this is something that would work well for me but not necessarily for everyone else. So we'll get into that after we go through the main setup here. But before we do that, I want to take a minute to thank the sponsor of today's video and that is BetterHelp. Over the years, I've had my fair share of dealings with anxiety and depression. A lot of those things I've actually shared on the channel over my years of creating YouTube videos. If you follow my channel for a while, you know, I actually struggled with obesity for pretty much my entire life and lost about 140 pounds back between 2011 and 2015. Physical exercise and proper nutrition are both really important pieces of the puzzle, but I think, you know, growing yourself as a person and reflecting on yourself and learning more about how you operate and work and feel is really important. Over the years, I've really tried to embrace that mental side of things and I'm really proud with the personal work I've done and the work I've done over the years on and off with a therapist. If you think you might be feeling stressed or depressed or anxious or overwhelmed, uh, the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp, is here for you. BetterHelp offers licensed trained therapists that are here to listen and help for you. And you can do so in the privacy of your own home through video chat or even just a phone call if that's something that you're more comfortable with. BetterHelp has a network of over 20,000 therapists with a broad range of expertise. When you sign up, you fill out a questionnaire and you get matched with a therapist that is specifically trained to help with whatever you are experiencing. That specific care and tailoring is one of my favorite parts of the service and they're still able to get you matched with a therapist that's right for you in under 48 hours. Once you're matched, you can schedule a secure video or phone call and you also have 
have unlimited messages to your therapist and everything is completely confidential. If for some reason your partner therapist isn't a good match for you, you can request a new therapist at any time for no additional charge. You can join over 3 million people who have taken charge of their mental health by working with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. You can also get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash Josh Fenn. The link will be in the description. That is betterhelp.com slash Josh Fenn. Huge thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this week's video. Be sure to check the link in the description. All right, so getting back into the EDC, we've covered the sling bag, the multi-tool, the Gerber dime. Next up, we've got some sunglasses. These are from a company called Knockaround. They are the Fort Knox, which is kind of their Wayfarer version. These are polarized sunglasses for $34, one of the more expensive items, if not, I think the most expensive item on the list, but they really are a good value. So I wanted to include them and sunglasses are a very important part of my EDC, especially in the summer months. I'm a big fan of the Ray-Ban Wayfarers. After my 10 year old pair bit the dust last year, I wanted to get something that was a little less expensive to wear in the back country when I'm hiking and backpacking. So I don't need to worry about damaging my regular day to day sunglasses. So I picked these up and they are excellent. The quality is really good. The polarization seems to be great as well. That's really important. You know, taking care of your eyes, especially if you do a lot of hiking. A lot of times I'll be out in the snow on the mountains and just the glare and reflection is really bad. But even if you're not like a big avid hiker like that, a good cheap pair of sunglasses is important. Next up for a key organizer, um, we have the Orbit Key Key Organizer. And I actually wanted to include the rubber active key organizer from Orbit Key for this. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get one shipped to me in time before recording the video, but that's kind of what I included in the price point. Uh, they're $25, so a little bit less expensive than the leather variant. The leather is $42, I believe, and the active rubber one is $25. Uh, quality is definitely the same. All the hardware is exactly the same on both, so I have a really good idea of how the active one is. And uh, the Orbit Kiki organizers are definitely a favorite. I debated saving a little bit of money from this list and going with one of the uh, Key Smart ones. I think those are only like $13 or $14, but they're ugly and just a little overly utilitarian. I wanted to get this as nice as possible while still staying under that $200 price point. Um, I've tried a handful of other key organizers. The Orbit Key ones are definitely a favorite of mine. I also wanted to include a watch, you know, sunglasses, a watch, a bag, all in this so it's a little bit unconventional for a lot of people's EDCs but these are my normal EDC items. Uh, this is the Casio World Time Watch. Didn't need to buy or try anything different to include in the setup. This watch is 20 bucks. I've been wearing it for about a year now and really, really love it. Uh, I think the styling is great. You know, I love the kind of techie old school sort of look to it, but it's also really functional and just a nice watch and it's only $20. Can't recommend this thing enough. It seems like there is a bit of a cult following, you know, since I've been wearing and talking about this, it's one of the more frequently commented on items in all of these videos. From there for a wall it again another Herschel item they seem to be killing it in my design and style preferences for the budget options this is the Charlie wallet it's 20 bucks it's a really nice kind of fabric wallet you have the Herschel logo on there it actually has built-in RFID blocking as well so it's not you know one of the fancy metal wallets that's way more expensive but uh definitely really nice stitching i like the feel of the fabric i think this would be a solid option for a ton of you if you're looking for a budget wallet you know i'm personally a big fan of these kind of more minimalist card holder wallets and out of all the options in that kind of lower price bracket this was definitely a favorite of mine next up for a handkerchief i have the dry key sweat absorbing hankies i picked these up last year for a blackout edc video i did and although they aren't my normal day-to-day handkerchiefs I still use them all the time especially if I'm in a situation where I'm sweating a lot these are always with me when I'm hiking or backpacking and they also kind of work really well as a microfiber towel to clean any electronic devices or anything like that not the best for blowing your nose I know we went into that in great detail with the uh, mighty Hanks in my last EDC update so not really perfect for that but it seems like I'm in the minority using a handkerchief to blow your nose but uh, yeah if you're looking just to 
to clean your electronic devices, you know, wipe your face off if you're getting sweaty. These things are great. Uh, 14 bucks for a five pack of them. Been using them for over a year for a bunch of things. I keep one at my desk to wipe down my desk. I keep one when I'm out backpacking. Um, if that sounds like it would be useful for you, this is an excellent option. And for water, because you gotta stay hydrated, especially in these hot summer months, we're in the middle of a heat wave here in Portland. Uh, this is the Hydropack Stash, a fully collapsible 750 mil water bottle. 20 bucks to have a nice little stashable water bottle. I got this for backpacking and camping personally. So everything on the table here came out to $194. Uh, I know this is a little bit of a different EDC compared to Taylor's where I got the inspiration for this from compared to a lot of EDCs. So I wanted to bring up a few other budget alternative options. So let's move this stuff over. I'm gonna bring out a couple of alternatives I wanna speak on before we wrap up the video. First alternative, if you're more of a knife person than a multi-tool person, this is the Civivi Badlands Vagabond. $40 and a truly excellent knife. I'm a huge fan of Civivi for budget knives. I actually have my Elementum on the table back there if I can learn to point. Um, that's kind of my office utility knife that stays out all the time. But yeah, I've tried a handful of Civivi knives and they're all excellent, especially for the price. The action is really satisfying to flip. This has been a solid knife since I got it last year and for 40 bucks, definitely an excellent option if you wanna use something that's still pretty low priced, but not uh, you know the little multi-tools. It's all depending on what you need, of course. Uh, and on that note, you know, if you're a pen and paper type of person, you know, I have my field notes notebooks. I've talked about these a bunch of times. Everyone knows about field notes. Um, good, cheap, and expensive option. And for pens, you know, my normal titanium pen <laughs> would definitely blow the budget away here. Uh, but these are the Uniball Jetstream 1.0 pens. These are my longstanding favorite kind of regular pens. They're quick drying too if you're left-handed and don't want to smudge your hand when you're writing. I bought a big pack of these years ago and I'm almost out of them completely, but would definitely recommend that if you're in the market for a just kind of normal good pen. Another wallet alternative I wanted to mention, this is the Wayfinder card holder wallet. Um, I use this for over a year, so if you've been sticking around watching these EDC updates for a long time, you might recognize this one. I really liked it. I wanted to try a different option though, just to get this price point under $200. This one's $38 versus the $20, but I do really like this one as well. I love the design of this wallet, the feel of the fabric, and then also kind of the gloss black, matte black combo with the logo. Definitely a solid option if you're looking for something a little bit different to try compared to the kind of more fabric-y Herschel wallet. For power, I go back and forth on carrying power banks with me. Uh, the Anchor PowerCore Slim is a great budget option if you're looking for one though. Uh, this is an old version. I've had this since like 2015. It's lost some capacity, but still works pretty well. The new ones are 22 bucks on Amazon. Anchor is a solid choice for just about any tech items. I would definitely recommend that one. And for flashlights, because I know a lot of you are really big flashlight people. I use flashlights at home all the time, but I carried a flashlight for a whole season recently and just didn't find the need for it when I was out and about. But a couple of options that I've been trying and enjoying. This is the Wubin D1. I think this one's 40 bucks. Talked about this pretty in depth in my previous EDC video, but just a really solid flashlight. Definitely recommend it. The form factor is good. It's really bright. Um, yeah, Wubin D1, most of the Wubin stuff I've tried has been good. I tried the E6 as well. I like the kind of straight form factor of this a little more though. And then um, if you're looking for a little tiny flashlight, this is the Nightcore Tiny 2 little keychain flashlight. Um, this thing is great. I got this recently to test and have been really happy with it. I can't decide where or how I wanna use it yet, but this is a really good solution for me who's not a big flashlight person but could still use it sometimes. I actually had to go check the oil in my car the other day because I saw a stain, was worried we were leaking. I brought this down with me, it worked great just to check the oil. Um, just little stuff like that. This is small enough where you can kind of carry it and not think about it too much. You could attach it to your keys. 
a solid option. The Tiny 2, also 40 bucks. So these are both the same price, very different form factors. That's gonna wrap it up for the video though. I hope you enjoyed this one, a little bit of a different style. I'd love to get your feedback on this if you wanna see more types of videos with different types of EDC setups outside of my normal day-to-day -day seasonal update. So let me know your thoughts on this video or future video ideas in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching though, and I will talk to you in the next one.